Good evening and welcome to Trash Talk, an enlightening and entertaining program about, you guessed it, trash. Specifically, trash here at Westminster. Our presenters tonight are Kathy Kelly and Mary Lynn Woodall. Our musical accompanists are Julie Brooks, Carol Cook, and Dan Wilson. We start our story in Mary Lynn's apartment where she's in a quandary about what to do about all the trash she's been accumulating for the last several months. Alexa, help me. I gotta toss this trash right out of my place. I need to move this stuff to make some more space. I want to sweep it up, pile it up without haste. Once residents figured out they didn't have to cycle everywhere, Mary Lynn Woodall and Kathy Kelly decided to start trash talking. This is completely unacceptable. Be nice. Nobody needs your trash talking. It hurts people's feelings. What? They are talking about actual trash and what to do with it? Well, that's okay then. Never mind. ladies and gentlemen, residents of Westminster, thank you for joining this evening. Yes. Glad that you could join us because I think this is a pretty important thing. I think though, if it's okay, we're going to take off our masks so that you can hear us and we're going to keep our distance. There we go. So Rita, give us some better known as Rita Recycle, <laughs> Mary Lynn Woodhall. As you noticed in the beginning, uh, Mary Lynn had come to me to ask, we are discussing trash throughout the entire complex. Yes, and it seems to be coming a real problem, especially now that with, with COVID, we're getting so much stuff delivered to our rooms. A lot of plastic is accumulating, along with paper and all kinds of things. And also I'm finding people are getting a little confused about what can be recycled and what has to be thrown away and how it's supposed to be thrown away. So that's why we decided to do this, try to clear that up and hopefully cover some of the areas that you might have questions about. So I'll start out with saying my blouse is recycled. <laughs> I also want to just remind you, and we will repeat this quite often, that you have your trash, your recycled, and possibly garbage as well, picked up three days a week here, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And as we go on, we'll tell you a little bit more and help you out with some of the aids that are provided. Three times a week, that's more than I got picked up at my house. That's true, you Sometimes had to even walk to the trash. I know, sometimes it was just like twice a month. So this Ooh. is pretty nice. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll start with something that seems to be fairly simple. Mary Lynn, you want to tell us a, yeah, a few let's things? Yeah, start with what can be recycled. We put together a little collection here. So basically, you know, it comes to plastics, paper, glass, and metal, and um, different kinds. So, <laughs> oh, that sounded kind of nice. Hey, okay. so let's start with the plastic. There's the uh, 
like milk cartons. You may not buy, you know, get big milk cartons of water, but these, these, you probably recognize. The old clam box. Yes, I have a bunch of those around. Those can be recycled. Those need to be recycled, but they also need to be clean. You can't just put them out with the old food because once that's out, then it's trash, it's garbage, and it can't be recycled. So rinse it out. Just rinse it under your sink, under your faucet. Yes, you don't have to sterilize it. Just no food in it. Uh, pill bottles. We all have pill bottles, I'll bet. Ooh, no can I mention something? Yes, do you mind? Do. I think we discussed this. <laughs> your pills. You've run out of, you finished your compliment of a month on your pills. Now you have all these other pills left. Don't save them, please. But don't throw them out either. Bring them to the clinic. If you can't make it to the clinic, call the clinic. I'm sure they'd be happy to come. These are not to go down your drain of any sort. They're not to go in your trash, in your garbage. Thank you. Okay. So there's other kinds of plastic. There's these little clear plastic items, the cups. These the, sometimes that we take the syrup home from the laurel. And uh, if it has a little triangle on it and a number that goes from anywhere from one to seven, it can be recycled. So sometimes you have to look carefully. But, but if you start to identify what some of the products are that you're looking at and say, oh yeah, I remember that, but I couldn't see the triangle. As long as you remember the dimensions, that's important. That little cup right by you, that's what cereal comes in, and it can be recycled. Um, and let's see, what else? We got it here. Paper, paper, newspaper, um, light, lots of paper. Paper bags, but not gift bags, because they have a special coating on them. Um, and let's see, paper, this kind of paper, we know that. So the paper uh, or, or paper towels. Paper towels. Yeah. So those, all, all those paper things. And let's see, then the glass. Well, we've seen quite a few of those lately. Yes, those yes. can be recycled even though they're... And again, rinse this out. Once you've taken the cork out and now you've finished, consumed your bottle of wine between Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, <laughs> just rinse it out and you can put it out. And what are we gonna put all this stuff in well, here? Well, you know, then? I just happen to have one of these handy little blue recycling buckets oh and that's nice yes they're handy and you know where well, do i get one you can get one from antonio and environmental services this is the smallest kind they are medium size there are bigger ones the camera. depending on what you what your needs are and uh see a bottle of wine will fit in there yeah. perfectly yeah and let's see. along with other things so this doesn't, each individual thing does not have to be separated from the other, as long as it's all recyclable, okay? So and I think that kind of covers most of the things. Now, Mary Glenn's gonna give us a little more detail about some of the things on her board. Yes, trash. Well, quite a bit of things are just trash and have to be thrown out. Now, we have a lot of these uh, Westminster coffee cups. You think, well, that should be recycled, but no, it has a little plastic coating on it. So it goes into the trash. The lid, however, that little black thing over there can be recycled. So that can be recycled, but this can't. The little soup cups, well, they've had food, they might have grease, it goes into the trash. Same with the fruit cups, the, the fruit comes in. Styrofoam, can't be recycled, that's trash. The little milk cartons, they have a wax coating them. They're trash. Um, egg cartons, can't be recycled. Bet you recognize this, it's a, little, it's a pizza box. All us get pizza in the laurel, um, take some home. But the grease gets into the wood, into the, the paper, it becomes trash. So, um, Rita, tell us about why this is in a bag. Well, there. what I do with that, because it's trash, and you can put trash in a bag and then tie it up real well. Can I borrow your little Merry Christmas H-E-B bag? Yes. Okay, <laughs> great. All right. This is perfect. So 
So when I had my pizza, and I ate it all, of course, I put it in this bag, and oh. <laughs> right, to see how strong I am. And I put it in, and I put the part that opens, I put it down to the bottom, so nothing falls out of the box. And then I tie it up by securing it with my fingers at the top and just swiveling it around and then giving it a really good tight tight around my finger and make it into a knot. Now if you have problems doing that, still put it in your bag, put it down next to all your other things that are going out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we might recommend that you do this before nine o'clock in the morning so that your trash is out on the proper days and being collected because after a certain hour, they won't be collecting. But if you missed it, because you have been away, whatever, please remember, call Environmental Services, and we're gonna supply you with those telephone numbers. Yeah. But you always wanna make sure, if you're putting that pizza box in a bag, tied tightly, can be put down the chute. Well, oh, Mary Lynn, what's the chute? Yes, well, not just the pizza boxes. Let me mention, too, like if you have you know, if you don't have a garbage disposal, like I don't, you can also, you might have coffee grounds, fruit, other fruit food that's uh, either gone bad or you just didn't eat it. That is also just like the pizza box goes into the bag and it gets tied up. And you can always take it to the garbage chute that's on your floor. It's located on the, where the main elevator is. Just walk around, you'll find it, except not on the first floor or the ground floor. On the first floor there is one, but oh, on the one. ground level there is not a chute because we're at the lowest level already. And the reason for securing your bag is if you just are a little lazy or maybe have a little problem with your knuckles and tying it tight, if this bag isn't tied tightly, it's going to go down the chute, all five floors, and what's going to happen? Ooh, it's all going to fall out. And now it's lining the chute. And what's waiting at the bottom, we don't want to even tell you about it. <laughs> so it's all in-house, so we got to be careful. And we get, they have to periodically clean the chute because of loose garbage. So the last thing we want to do is have loose garbage going down the chute, though. Just imagine all that garbage. Yes. Now there's some other things up here we haven't talked about. Light bulbs. Not recyclable, but we don't want to put them in with the regular garbage where they might get broken. Or anything, any glass that is broken, put in a separate box and let the environmental service people pick those up separately. Even if you don't have a box, you can use a paper bag. Or you bag. must have a nice pen or something that you could mark on the bag fragile, broken glass, please alert the poor guys that are picking this up. Right. Because they liable to just go like this, and next thing you know, they have a handcuff. Yeah. Uh, very, very important. And yeah. I like the idea of, you know, if you break something in your apartment, like a mirror or a bottle of wine, or wine and it goes, a, a glass, a thousand pieces, please call either the front desk if it's after hours, or call EVS Environmental Services and ask them to send some, dispatch someone to help you clean it. Because the last thing you want to do is miss a sliver of glass on your floor. That's right. And so please, you, you know, for yourself, that. protect yourself as well. Yeah. Yeah, there were, we didn't talk about these little plastic Well, where did things. those come from? Well, you know, if you get a six pack of uh, drinks or something, they hold them together. Oh, I knew they looked familiar. Yes, but they, they are supposed to, um, even though they go with, into the garbage or the trash, it's better if you can cut those, because sometimes birds will get hold of these. Turtles. And then, or turtles, or other kind of animals, and then the, it gets around their neck and they can't get free, and so it's a really sad thing. We know how hard it is to get it off the bottles of Coke or <laughs> any other beverage. You, have you ever tried to separate? your cans of Coke or your bottles of Coke, and you're pulling away, well, you can imagine what a poor animal is going to do to try to get itself unlocked. Yeah, so. What else do you have for Well, us? these are um, different kind of containers. 
for food containers. The plastic, uh, let's see, it probably can be recycled, but the bottom cannot. That's a kind of a paper product, so it needs to go into trash. What about these? Batteries, yes. batteries, okay. In the Preston, in every laundry room, there is a little black basket. Uh, not a basket, it's a container. And it says right on it, for batteries only, please, batteries only. We're not going to be putting in light bulbs matched with the battery. We're not putting in our Kleenex or our little pieces of paper or our lint from the laundry, okay? <laughs> This specifically is meant for batteries only. And the reason is because as each one of those buckets, small black bucket, becomes more and more filled, they have a company that comes in and they empty them. And so those batteries go to a place where the batteries can be disposed of. Uh, so very important, just don't throw batteries. It's such a temptation, but don't do it, please. Do not throw them in your trash. Do not throw them in your garbage. Uh, it keeps all of us healthy, and uh, we don't want to be ruining every piece of the environment. Right. No matter what size battery, is that right? That's right, all kinds, yeah. yeah. But watch batteries, you've got, oh, clock batteries, they're all different sizes. Right, right. So that covers it on the trash. Uh, what else that we And talking? back at garbage. Garbage yeah. is, remember, garbage is what you've eaten. Oh, and then we have some things that are not exactly garbage, but they're personal items. Oh, yeah. Non-flushable. So you want to make sure that you keep those wrapped very securely, because if you go to the chute and throw those down, you don't want any of those opening up either. Right. Yeah. Um, and so tied up, and they certainly don't need to be flushed down. We're having problems already we without, speak. well, 50-something <laughs> years later, 60 yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, with the piping, so please, um, yeah. if you can. And this isn't just for residents. I think we mentioned in the beginning that we hope that you'll share this information with whoever your caregiver is, whether it's your family member or an outside halcyon or a private caregiver. That's real important because we're all contributing to everything that needs to be collected. We want to keep our whole place clean and nice for everybody. And again, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, if you're confused or concerned about, did I do it right? When you hear those fellows coming around and collecting, you can't miss it, because you will hear them. As they come on your hallway, if you popped your head out and said, why are you using a blue bag? Why are you using a black bag? Well, the blue bags by Environmental Services, that's what they put the recycled materials in. And the black bags, all the trash that they're collecting. Yeah, so we need your help. We all need to help each other with this and we hope this has made things clear. But if you still have questions, feel free to call Antonio and look for the little flyer in your box. And if you still have questions, just keep asking. There'll be answers for you. Yes, and this applies to the Windsor as well as a newer building. Um, they have their issues as well. They have trash rooms, but they're still asking for our help in getting the word out. Mm -hmm. And all we can say is, <laughs> the end. <laughs>
Recycle. 